Today I spoke with Sharon Chambers Gordon, the CEO of Raising Girls, and she told me that at first she ran the organization in her garage, but the need became so great that she ended up moving operations into the building behind me. But she says this work energizes her, and she hopes that as more people learn about period poverty and hygiene insecurity, that more people will step up to fight it. And then we come around here, we have our toothbrush, our toothpaste. Sharon Chambers Gordon says the inspiration for her organization Raising Girls came from her mother, who would add something extra to plates of food she would give out back in Jamaica. And she always, I noticed, sent a bar of soap or some toothpaste. She always thought about those things, and so she's inspired me to care and to look at the practical um, needs of people. That example, coupled with her work with girls in the juvenile justice system and foster care, led her to establishing Raising Girls in 2017. I think there's conditioners that look like it on the right, middle shelf right there. With the goal to address period poverty and hygiene insecurity for teens. So we deliver to schools um, six times a year, and we also have them going to boys and girls clubs. So kids who go to boys and girls clubs in the summertime has access because school, schools are closed. Now these bags have enough hygiene products to last someone for two months. I spoke to one of the volunteers today who says she knows firsthand just how valuable this resource is. As soon as I met her and she shared the mission. Lisa Barnes met Chambers Gordon back in 2019 and says she was excited to be a part of Raising Girls as soon as she heard about it. Barnes says this work is not only beneficial, but necessary, and knows what it's like to try and make do without these products. I grew up in poverty, um, and where I'm from, we didn't have anything like this. Chambers Gordon says educators have told her how much of an impact not having access to these products can have on a child's life. She also says as more people hear about her organization, the demand for her services rises. But she says that demand just gives her more energy to spread the word. I don't get frustrated, I get energized. I get energized to do this work and to bring in as many partners as we can. Now currently, Raising Girls is only operating within Pierce County, but Chambers Gordon is hoping that soon she'll be able to serve those in Federal Way and King County as well. From Tacoma, Lionel Donovan, King 5 News.